Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. So I did a video, a previous video that spoke about uh, when to fertilize uh, after the seeds or your seeds have been germinated. So these are basically um, some seeds you know that have been set right and as you, as you can see they are basically they have some of them have germinated well maybe uh well all of them have, have germinated but some of them are still basically um in the in the hole like this one is germinated but it's coming up right so basically what happened is um as you can see on this one here right this is basically the, the, the radical that goes down and forms the roots, right? As you can see, and this one here, this is the seed, right? And this is basically these this, this is basically the cotyledon leaves coming out. Right? Um so this is basically what is happening when it is germinating. Right? So this is basically the initial initial um the early stages. So let me see if I can just pull off the, the, the seed off this one. Right. Alright, alright. Great. As you can see, this is basically the, the, the cotyledon leaves, right? So there you go. Right? there you go so these are basically the two cotyledon leaves right and these are actually cucumber seeds and they are die cut so as i said they have two cotyledon leaves right this one and that one and these are basically the leaves that store the sugars to basically support growth and development of course they are going to send up true leaves so let me just show you what it looks like so here we have a different stage obviously these are much larger and this is so i'm so glad i'm doing this video look at this this is basically the the seed capsule right that that basic that that, that the cotyledon leaves um came out of so these two leaves that you are looking at this one and this one those are the cotyledon leaves so if i just hold this and just pop it off like that you can see it pulls apart right and what happened is that this leaf this leaf and this one here in the middle coming up this is a young one coming up those are called the true leaves so um and of course you have different stages here right you have different stages here uh some are obviously a little bigger than some a little larger than some um look at this one you have, you have these two these are the two cotyledon leaves and um these are the two true leaves and you can see there's another small true leaf coming up right um so basically uh the 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 the, the, the cotyledon leaves they have they, they have a different shape than the true leaves so you can definitely um differentiate between the cotyledon leaves and the true leaves because look at these two leaves they are much more kind of round on the edges right have a more rounded shape compared to, to, to the true leaves which have a, a more like a a heart shape you know I love you I love you honey I love my wife this is a heart shape right so it has this um, triangular pattern there and then it has this round right here so and it is basically consistent with all of them so let us look at a larger plant now look at this plant this plant is obviously this is a larger set right so look here now um you find that even cotyledon leaves they even when your crop is is far advanced you will still see cotyledon leaves on on the on this on the stem right these are the cotyledon leaves and these are the larger um true leaves right so basically as you can see the the the, the, the shape of the leaf it is it is much different from the cotyledon leaves so you definitely can differentiate the cotyledon leaves and then now the, the most simplest way is that the cotyledon leaves they are the first two leaves to come out so those two you will most likely find those two leaves at the 
at the at the at the bottom of the of the of the plant. So the first two leaves you see, those are based normally the cotyledon leaves. So um and as I said, it is basically consistent throughout. Um as you can see these two here, right? Um so I'm going to try and I'm going to try and find a larger plant that still has the the cotyledon leaves on them so these are obviously these are basically ready to be planted out right um, and as you can see I'm kind of detecting a bit of magnesium deficiency and as we know uh, magnesium is is, 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 a, is a integral part of the structure of um, chlorophyll which is a green pigment in the leaves so you need to ensure that your magnesium is right but you learn a lot more about nutrients when I start the, the nutrient um, the nutrient videos the the, the different nutrient um, nutrients I'm going to do series of videos on 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 that so for this I just wanted to show you the color down so let me go outside I'm going to go outside and I'm basically going to I'm basically going to show you right um, oh let, oh here are some tomatoes 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 can you tell me where the cotyledon leaves are on the tomato exactly here they are so here is one and that is another one and this plant this is one and this is another one that is why I told you that the cotyledon leaves they are the first two leaves to come out right because they are the, the two leaves that have the initial um, glucose storing sugar storing to, to, to kind of push that growth and development to kind of um, sustain um, the, 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 the other the, the, the true leaves to come out and grow right um, and then now as I said when when the when when the when the true leaves have come out like these right then it starts photosynthesizing and then it takes uh, of course these um these cotyledon leaves they'll still support these leaves right they'll still be sending nutrients to these leaves but then now eventually these leaves start to photosynthesize and then um you know it start uh, making its own sugars and then it takes takes the pressure off the cotyledon leaves because the cotyledon leaves as i said is just to support initial um growth and development of the germinated seed so let us go outside so here we are right i'm going to show you see if i can find cotyledon leaves on these large plants because remember i told you that um the cot cotyledon leaves they basically can stay on the plant for a very very long time right these are plants that are basically um in in um generative stage they are producing flowers you can see these are basically female flower right so um let us see if we can find cotyledon leaf right uh i'm not seeing none on that one okay um here here's one on this right this is one here right as you can see when you are looking for cotyledon leaves you have to make sure that you are looking at the base right make sure you are looking at the base right a lot of time the base on on, on how far the the, the plant is into production if they start reaping then they'll they, then they'll prune they'll prune the, the 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 vine like this one this vine has gone through some amount of pruning that is why you are not really seeing the cotyledon leaf right um but i'm sure i'm going to find some more cotyledon leaf all right this one obviously is just starting to produce as i said so they haven't pruned off anything as yet so here's the cotyledon leaf and as i said you are going to find it at the base the first set of leaves right here's another one wow this is a good one that i found um and as you can see the seed you know the seed capsule here it is still on this cotyledon leaf i could just pull it off like that right it's there right um so you know just to give you an idea i know i did a video on this before but i just wanted to just give you a kind of live view like of what is going on right so um yeah i hope you have basically learned something from this little walkthrough right um and if you if you have any questions any comments please put them in the comments area and please remember to subscribe to my channel 
right um yeah these are just kind of suffering from a little bit of potassium deficiency as you can see the discoloration there around the around the edges it is not very it is not very severe as yet but if you leave it like that um you basically going to find that it becomes more pro uh, what i would say progressive um and um yeah they are showing a little bit of magnesium deficiency as well but uh yeah um i hope you you are really understanding and learning something uh, these are basically much further as you can see those are cucumbers so yeah guys i'm out now uh thank you for joining me in this video and uh, again please subscribe to my channel like the videos and so on thank you